Did you know that there is five types of commercial real estate properties? Hi, my name is Fadi Kuder. I'm a local realtor with Sutton Group Ottawa. And if you like what you see, please hit the like and subscribe button so you can get more and more of these tips about real estate here in Ottawa. So the five types of commercial properties that we see. Number one, multifamily. So what is multifamily? A lot of folks are confusing multifamily with duplexes and triplexes. They actually start just around five units and up. So what, that, what we mean by that, and a lot of times we could refer to it as five doors. And what we mean by it is essentially five separate dwelling within the same unit. So that could be maybe a low rise, it could be you know, a complex or what have you. It's always gonna be more than five units. Five units that are coming in, paying the rent, doing all of that stuff with some common elements, if you will, such as stairs, such as elevators, that kind of stuff. Next is office. Office space is very self-explanatory. That's many different, there's many different types of office, which we're gonna explain in a different videos, but it's essentially the type of dwelling that you can come in as an organization, set up office in there. So that could be in multiple units. It could be just one office. It could be an office within a, a business. There's multiple different types of offices. Number three, industrial. So what industrial entails is there's few different types of industrial space for commercial. And that could be things like Amazon warehouse, could be something like essentially looking at a distribution center. It could be industrial, could also be commercial property such as mechanics shop. Anything that's you're going to be using heavy machinery and things like that, that could actually be going under industrial. And it does definitely have different kind of zoning. So industrial. To add on that as well too, industrial is one of the best commercial real estate uh, pieces to have. The reason why, because they do have a lot lower cost. You know, you're not doing a lot of maintenance and a lot of the times they're self-contained. So you can just say to the mechanics, you deal with everything. You don't have to worry about it. It does come at a higher risk sometimes when you're doing heavy machinery and such, because obviously now the land could be contaminated. You're looking at uh, possibly an environmental study when you're trying to sell after. So really have to be kind of careful with that, but it is definitely at a lower cost from office, from an, an, an multifamily and such. Number four is retail. Retail is self-explanatory. A lot of folks say that retail is dying. It's not, at the end of the day, people still want that experience to go out and shop and look for certain items. I personally, I use it as retail therapy. Everybody does. So look at it as those are, uh, sometimes it could be a storefront. Sometimes it might be a mall. Sometimes it might be a mix of both. It just depends. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about the retail, more videos to come. The last but not least is hospitality. So hospitality, it's different types of hospitality out there. And that's, you know, the likes of, for example, a hotel, a motel, you're looking at uh, maybe a hockey arena, possibly looking at a wedding venue. So many different types of hospitality we're gonna discover and more videos to come. But for more videos like this, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you can get more and more about these. Again, my name is Fadi Kuder. I'm a local realtor here with Sutton Group Ottawa and stay tuned.